some losers, so we might see more of them later on. But in the meantime, we're going to be moving into our next game here. I am excited to see this matchup. Yeah, so we got PK Chris, of course, and coming up against VV, VV rocking the SMT5 pack. If anyone is a uh, Shin Megami Tensei fan, which shout outs, I suppose, and P PK Chris out here looking for that same kind of resiliency that he has been having throughout the previous season and now this season, placing extremely well. But the same can be said for VV, who has found just a new resurgence ever since the Lucario got buffed. Like, he's just putting everything into his two characters. And honestly, it's been working out very, very well for him. Yeah, and they, they cover each other's weaknesses so well. Because, like, if he was going Lucario in this matchup, it'd be very hard because Ness is so good at killing. But instead, look at that. He's healing up. He's hit, now he's even further from kill percent. Meanwhile, PK Chris is in the blast zone. Dead to rights. Man, this is looking so dominant for VV. Only 28%? How do you even do that against PK Chris? It's a combination of a couple of nice heals, but also just being able to play at this center stage so well. What makes PK Chris's nest so dominant is the fact that he is able to switch around his uh, movement and always be pressuring your shield with these amazingly big and amazingly safe buttons. But with oh. Hoosh being able to fly out of shield and get to platform so reliably, you don't have to worry about that, but you do still have to worry about Ness catching your jumps. Yeah, also I think that was maybe some questionable DI because he was probably smash DIing to get out of the PK fire. Uh, but anyway, that's really good pickup for PK Chris. He is still in the red here. Uh, why are you PK firing, bro? That is a... <laughs> you, read the warning signs. <laughs> okay. I oh yeah, wait, he doesn't bounce. On. I was like, well, it's not bad to dash back. Oh wait, no, not with that <laughs> not with that radius going on there. Oh, I love the parry into the turnaround grab and VV kind of understanding him. He has the time, throw out that heal. Not only does it take it out of the menu after two times, but a nice 9% is still pretty good. Yeah. Oh, and bounce once more. Bounce does not act, does it work on PK Flash? It should. It does, correct? Yeah. yeah. And it, it takes away so so much of Ness's juggling game. Most of the time, you see them, uh, you you see Ness players use things like PK uh, Thunder to chase down a mid-air opponent that they can't reach themselves. So, oh, and that the was so good, throw. yeah. Wow, you saw he threw out that magic in order to basically force the neutral get-up timing. That was so good from BB. And right now, he's maintaining the same lead we've seen him have pretty much since the beginning, frame one of this game. And, it's been really good to see him. No uh, jump. He's fine. <laughs> it's been really good to see him use a lot of the. Oh. <laughs> I will finish this thought eventually. <laughs> we'll, we'll hold on to that one for the moment as VV finds his way back into center, just using uh, heroes and big aerials like that rising neutral air to constantly dissuade PK Chris from getting in. As there's the accelerado, something that instantly blows open the matchup from where Ness is at an advantage in midair to suddenly Shiro is. That was so good. He didn't even need the bounce. No. <laughs> but it's there to be helpful. Yeah, that was, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, that was up tilt? Up tilt. That was up yeah. tilt, yeah. Hero's up smash, garbage. Yeah, but Hero's up say. tilt is new up smash. Look at how yeah. much this covers. Like, it, not only in the fact that... Not only that, it's pretty quick. The fact that he had time to... Uh, he got bounce. Look at and it was up so covers yeah. all this, by the way. More. Even more than that. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Alright, moving into game two. What adjustments do you think PK Chris needs to make here? They need to get in Hero's face. Trying to get and, and there for certainly no lack of effort. But it's so hard to look at Hero and let them do that. Let them stand there thinking for a moment and really understand the amount of options. You need to limit the amount of tools Hero has at any given moment. But it's so hard when Accelerado just comes up so frequently and it's such a hassle for Vivi. Yeah. Not to mention that PK Chris is limited in his own options because of PK Fire not being available to him when Bounce is online. Oh my god, did you see that? Accelerado oh, yeah. chasing him all the way up there. That forward, oh, yeah. ki forward air killing, honestly, pretty dang early. Vivi is looking absolutely dominant right now. Okay, getting tossed off the stage. Nice. He, he, <laughs> he'd be flying. Oh, and the magic burst, but it's not a ton he of damage. He should be dead from this, honestly. Oh, I'm surprised PK Chris didn't try to go for something just to knock him off stage. 
If he has no MP, he doesn't have access to his uh, recovery moves. Yeah, it only takes four for level one Woosh to come out, but not any further than that, and it's certainly a rough time. But with a bunch of jabs coming out, now Vivi has the mana to expend. Still trying yeah. to get past these wall of backers. Looking for Zoom again? No, he Ooh, tried yeah. to set up for a for a Kaswoosh, but not uh, not finding it. And a good, clean edge guard from PK Chris. I will also <laughs> say, Kaboom. Yeah. Man, the choice, Vivi's choice for uh, just the, the, you know, from the magic menu. I don't know how he manages to read it, recognize the situation, and pick the move that will actually still hit PK Chris from across the stage based on where he is in that moment. It's just, uh, the cognizance is unparalleled. He, I mean, not only is he a fast reader, but he also kind of, it feels like he knows what he's looking for. He's look, when he pulls up menu, he's not looking for a buff when at full screen. He's not looking for a, a projectile when they are so close. Like, he's going, opening the menu and looking for something extremely specific and moving on if it's not there. Just a very quick re refresh rate and a very long back air, but it does enough to connect. Yep. Oh! No way. No. He yeah, accelerado. No. He, he went mock speed into that. <laughs> so I don't makes him so light, which I mean he was probably dead oh, anyway. Oh, are you too. kidding me? I don't. Yeah, he could have. He could have. It's just mega death right there. Uh, but anyway, once more we now have an even game. Uh, haven't seen this since the first stock, considering the fact that Vivi has been so dominant. But perhaps PK Chris, that was a really big play with that upbeat. Can he actually manage to recreate that kind of success here? It's so hard to consistently get big kills like that. And the damage just not really coming out. Yeah, an absolute ton of damage. And without Bounce Online, this really gives PK Chris so much room to work with. The Biplats are so good for Ness to be able to cancel his air momentum on these platforms. Oh my god, he is just covered in red. Oh, oh you're dead! Is... You're so dead! That was such a good trap because it, without... Of course, PK Chris wants to use these ledge stalls and wants to give himself the room to get back to stage. But the zoo, the snooze was just so perfectly covering. It traded, right? All of this. It traded. Well, here's the thing. He, he let go. How, why did he go up so high? Also, the... It, how do I put this? He was in his dump. I believe he was in his either double jump animation or he was just because he was in midair. The snooze doesn't put him to sleep immediately. It carries your momentum forward or backward. I don't care. So, so did, was that the double jump? I believe he was. In but his that's double a very jump. normally Ness doesn't like to double jump after going for that PK Thunder. He just likes to re grab the ledge. That was a little bit kooky. But anyway, it was normally it's so hard to punish Ness when he is like that. Oh, yeah. So the fact that you know snooze was able to find it. Great stuff as uh, he, he's got the Infinity Stones right now. <laughs> that was Psych Up, Oomph, and Accelerado all together, and it's back oh, for one. No. Oh, ah! no! <laughs> and he's using, he might have the Infinity Stones, but I'm pretty sure he just got a... Uh, he went for the head right there. That's oh. how I put it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this gives PK Chris such a huge advantage because now he doesn't have to worry about forcing his way into Hero. He can play to Hero's native weakness, which... Honestly, just just oom, just run him out of mana. But there is that psych up up tilt yet again, and oom immediately online. But that's a boon for v, uh, a boon for PK Chris right now because he used that man, he used the time on oom all the way up, and oom does force Hero to take a little bit extra too. Oh, the bounce. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is looking pretty rough. Honestly, I think it's just still looking rough for PK Chris. Ah, look at how many shield is. It's, it's not even a shield anymore. No, <laughs> hey, come on! <laughs> the, In what universe? Fine, take it. Look, he was above fifty-five percent. That was that was a coin flip. Also, trade nice. I know. <laughs> Kooky and oh no! Now he, he's not even using mana for this one. He's just hitting you with up tilt. Here's a wacko boy. <laughs> he does sometimes if you find the right spots, you are end up. I can either fall victim to hero slow hitboxes or get blow right through them. There's the spot that's Ooh. trying to avoid the grab. A great, a good punish from PK Chris, but the low percent means it's not gonna matter too much. Yeah, man, that whoosh has just an out of shield option, but PK Chris Rain doing four. a great job of being able to 
bait it out now and get some damage in. Oh, you're nice. so... It's, it's, there's horror! Oh, yeah. Horror! Oh my god, that's Dante's Inferno right there! I, I, it's the most optimal punish for Kaklang I've ever seen in my life! Wow. So, this Kaklang is obviously a misinput. No one ever uses Kaklang. But most of the time, you're forced in the quote-unquote skill check to time it. Ness doesn't have to time anything. He just keeps <laughs> shooting the PK fires. <laughs> oh my god! He, he still did time it. You notice he jumped right before it oh, expired. Yeah. But so uh, not only is he mashing, he's a good player too. <laughs> uh, a nice swap, <laughs> a good, good skin swap. Now we have Munchie in our pocket, but we're also. <laughs> BB's also getting juggled for an immediate 36%. How are you able to go right back to commentating after that happens? <laughs> you see a lot of stuff in this game. <laughs> you see a lot of stuff. Yeah, well, we're definitely going to be seeing more stuff here. I am excited for it. As ooh, we move into game four, things are looking much better for PK Chris. Maybe that just gave him the confidence boost he needed. Maybe it just psyched VV out enough that he's not quite playing as consistently as he was before. As I say that, now he's starting to find those important magical uh, buffs, and right in time, that bounce. Literally frames away as the thwack. No, he wasn't planning on going for that dash grab. was super ill-conceived. Oh, he had zoom, but it's... I mean, clean, right? Like, you just be, are able to react to that, expecting to get hit by the yo-yo. Yeah, I'm now realizing that we're on small battlefield, and I'm really curious about the stage choice, and I'm really curious about neutral get up being into a snooze like that. <laughs> that doesn't seem like the greatest of tools. But I, I, I do think that in general, PK Chris, it feels like, I mean, it's so hard to read Hero's options on that menu, but I think maybe just reading it a little bit to anticipate would help out a lot. Because it's not, all right, good job picking up the stock right there. Walking that dog. Uh, but it's not necessarily... Oh, okay, never mind. I don't want to talk too much because there's still so much action going on. Yeah, heal at zero. Oh, wait, we're we're here to talk. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, going for another? You know, after VV landed one snooze, it's like, oh, wait, this works? And then now we're seeing a lot more of these snoozes come out to linger. Because it seems like PK Chris wants to hover a little bit outside of VV's burst range. Let him pull the menu and try to punish him for that oh. afterward. At the same time, he's not getting hit by those snoozes. We're seeing the adaptation come out for both players. And that was so scary. I, huh, neat. Yeah, he got stalled in the air from the PK fire. I love that jump over, but then drop fastball through the platform. It got him a small punish, but it keeps those platform games going. Not to mention these <laughs> even further off of the Accelerado. Another up tilt, but no buff means that PK Chris will survive. There's the psych up. Now you have to worry about, yes, that, exactly. And once he gets access to that kill throw, thanks to any of those uh, those attack buffs, it becomes so much harder to deal with him in the neutral, especially if he also has Accelerado or anything like that tacked on top. And I'm super glad Vivi really shows off that Accelerado isn't just an airspeed buff like it is most known for, given how crazy you can jump around, but it's also a run speed buff. Oh, no. That was certainly a shame to be dying since we saw Hero pull out the menu, so Vivi... Had time to input, but not enough time to survive. He almost clicked Magic Burst. <laughs> but, oh wow, that actually oh, hitting. A All of a sudden, edge. yeah, PK Chris now at 92%. Well, but let's see what kind of combo he could get started with. Air dodging right back into his loving arms. Not Are a, you kidding me? Not How many? Again. How many? Again. That's like the third one now, the fourth that is one? The third one, I believe. Maybe the fourth. I don't I've lost track at this point. The difference between three and four is negligible. Why pull back there, I wonder? Look, look, look. Go back here. Hold on. Alright, let's Hold. try and see if there was some next level bait that went in to this. Like I think he was uh, hoping oh, to land on the platform. But plus. even if he's landing on the platform, can't he angle the PK Thunder to hit him on the platform? I missed I missed it. But it was interesting to watch Vivi drift towards the platform and then pull back towards the ledge. Like he was consciously thinking of a different mix-up that PK Chris wasn't even going for. It was just a compl uh, completely one step ahead was PK Chris in that final interaction. And with Ness and how Ness's metagame has been going, all you need to be is one step ahead because after you get that touch, oftentimes your opponent's either at 80 or dies. 
I mean, we're seeing all the the implementation of all of that tech in just PK Chris's neutral, just he hovering back and forth, stalling in the air, and canceling all of these PK f uh, fires. There's a reason that Vivi had been going for a uh, bounce so frequently earlier in this set, but after looking at the menu for so, uh, a couple of times, he hasn't been getting it. Yeah, just the luck. Mm, not in his favor right now. Still hasn't gotten bounced. Wow. That's not that uncommon, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, the okay. You know, on top of getting clonked on the dome by PK Thunder three times this set. All right, okay, RNG's back in his favor. Not only did he get bounced, but he got zoom immediately afterwards. Uh, he's not working with much MP right now, but with those buffs, let's see if he can maybe get a one hit in. He does still have access to upbeat out of shield at this point, so that is, and that back air is going to be a huge amount of mana. You see, going for the flame slash. No, he does have psych up online, so he could be starting to hunt for a, a kill throw, but that back throw not going to do it from center stage. And Celerado comes online. Oh, ah, he's not actually getting hit by any kind of follow up. Vivi living at 155% right now. That up tilt's looking really scary. Uh, did he not? Get oh, wait, hit yeah, I think by it the hit the platform. I think it hit the platform. Oh, yeah, the flames interfere with that, and we get the double taunt from PK Chris. I agree with it. Considering the fact that Vivi was up 2 0 convincingly, and all of a sudden now he is on the brink of losing this set, yeah, taunts him. Freak him out even more. Make him make his brain work extra hard on being mad so he can't read the menus. These jump call outs are so huge. Vivi gets so much off of these full empty hops. Getting, going, getting the back throw. Finally able to pull out some menus. There is the bounce instead of going for the thwack. And that, that's so much. That's so much HP back with off of the person, uh, off of the absorbed kaboom. PK Chris reading the menus right now, and you see how much that gives him. Oh my God, he's living that hit. He's at 107. There's he's pretty dang safe at this moment. Okay, he's less safe when Psycho hits the field. Oh, fine. but uh, oh my God, how much damage are you gonna take? Just narrowly missing a huge punish. Luckily, the fair is what ignites the PK fire. There's a up tilt, something that Vivi has forced himself to rely on so often. And as great as an anti air as it is, PK, I mean, PK Chris, you can only die to something so much before you start playing around it. Oomph is going to be huge, a quick 12 off from there, but Vivi is super reliant oh. on having that control. Man, it's. If Vivi, oh, nice job. Oh, where we go. Oh, never mind. Okay, yeah, he's fine. Uh, but if Vivi can maybe like start when he gets bounced, because it feels like there's always like about a second before PK Chris adjusts and stops PK th like PK firing. So if Vivi it's best to just runs up and purposefully gets hit by it, will it reflect back up at PK Chris? Oh my God. He has. Are you dead? Red? Oh, you're not okay. a crit. Not even a crit. No, no, not even a crit. crit. Okay. <laughs> Using the dash attack with both Psych Up and Oomph, and that it's so hard to tell what how or how they're glowing because Oomph and Psych Up both glow the same color. <laughs> but here we are with that yo-yo. We are back to an even game, and Vivi with a massive comeback to, in order to get to this position. But PK Chris is looking to kill him oh. right now. Oh, he's going super high. Meant just to avoid that back air. Vivi now back on stage. Can he actually do anything with it though? Man, PK Chris is in his face. These There's... parries are so good. I mean, yeah. Hero's back air is seven, 17 frames, so you have the time to do so. But it's good on PK Chris to really dissuade any sort of habits or any sort of attempted reads that VV has. Force him to rely on that menu, Ooh. which he certainly is right now. Uh, he had the lead, so he's like, let me be a little bit patient here. But look at all those buffs that VV was able to find when he was giving him that space. Okay. If he, that could have killed him or broken his shield. But Oomph is no longer online as the no missed way. tech. After all of that, first of all, reverse 3 0. The reverse 3-0, and honestly, the MVP of that reverse 3-0 uh, was PK Thunder. PK Thunder 2. Yeah, uh, I would agree. God, that's so unfortunate. Missing a yeah. tech, like after so much, and the taunt, insult to injury. <laughs> after so much good play that came out from Vivi in order to regain an even game state, even with the slight percent differential, falling to a missed tech just hurts.